from the Learning Center at ProFace America, how to start a new GP Pro EX project. In this short video, we will take you through starting the GP Pro EX software, selecting the target ProFace HMI, choosing one or more PLC or device drivers, an introduction to the GP Pro EX workspaces, and the communication setup for your device or PLC. Click the GB Pro EX icon found on your desktop to open the GB Pro EX software. In our case, we will not check for online update service and we will go straight into creating a new project. The first thing you will have to do is select the hardware that you're going to use. You would pick the GP3000 series, in our case for this example a GP3200 and as we saw on the label on the back of the unit an AGP3200T. All ProVist panels can be mounted landscape or portrait uh, mode and we'll go for landscape which is the, the standard uh, mode to install. Next you will have to pick the driver that you're going to communicate to. For our example we will use the Rockwell Ethernet IP driver. Please note that the last chosen drivers will always be available for a quick link and a link to the manual is available right here. After selecting your PLC we will have to set up the communication settings. So click the communication settings button and you are taken to the system setup. Before we continue with the device PLC setup, notice that GB Pro EX contains workspaces. In this example, we'll have a screen list on one side and a property list on the other side. You can put these two together by dragging the title bar and you can rearrange your screen to display the tabs that you think you need. Important ones to have available are the properties one, the system settings tab and the screen list tab. When we go to communication settings we are automatically placed in the system settings tab and the system settings are displayed in the main editor window. If you're missing any workspaces that you see in this example go to view workspace and enable or disable any workspace that you want to show in addition. We are now at the device PLC setup step and you can see the driver we selected, the version number that you have installed on your PC and the communication method that we're going to use. Click the device PLC one link to display the individual properties for your specific driver. Note that for 6 inch and 3.8 inch panels, two separate drivers are supported. Any of the larger ProVis panels can support up to four different device and PLC drivers. Each driver can then support multiple PLCs, which you will see in the allowable number of PLC devices. So our driver on Ethernet can support up to 16 individual CPUs connected. We will use one and for easy recognition we will first enter a name that allows us to identify easily the PLC that we're connecting to. Next, click the individual PLC settings button and notice that this interface may be different for any PLC that you uh, connect to. In our example, it is for a Micrologic series PLC on Ethernet. In this case, I will have to enter the correct IP address for the PLC we're connecting to and that finishes our PLC setup.